having a great day. For those of you who are new here, I'm Naomi and I post art related videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, please do give it a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Also wanted to say happy Teachers Day to all you lovely teachers out there. Thank you so much for the service you guys provide to our community. Okay, so in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys two DIYs that have been inspired by a video I've seen on TikTok. Of course, I'm not doing the exact recreation of it, but this is my own version of it. So if you want to know how I made it, please keep watching. For this DIY, I used a 30cm by 25cm stretched canvas. I mixed white, red, a little bit of yellow and a little blue later on to create this pink color. This is going to be the background color for your design. After covering the entire canvas with two coats of this color, I painted a half inch black border to give it like a framed look. Then you can either draw or print the design you want on a piece of paper. I drew this girl with a cap on an A4 size copier sheet. You're going to lay your design on the canvas and tape it down so that it doesn't move. This is very important because if you don't tape it and the design shift, there's no way you can get it right again. Then you're going to take a pin and pierce holes all along the design passing through the paper and canvas. After you're done, go ahead and remove the paper. Then, thread an embroidery thread in the color of your choice and start stitching using the holes as a guide. I used a black thread and did a simple back stitch along the border. Start off by passing the thread from the back and then insert it into the next hole. Then from the back insert it into the next hole and then pass it into the previous hole as shown. I did this for the entire border. I also went ahead and did the cap with a shaded green and white thread using a long stitch. You can decorate your design with whatever you want. I added these black sticky embellishments as buttons for the dress. 
and you're done. For this project, I used a 30cm by 20cm stretched canvas again. You can choose any size you want. And you're going to draw the design of your choice at the back. Then use an X-Acto knife and start cutting along the design. I went with a scissor later as it was much easier. Once I was done cutting, I used double sided tape along the outsides. I also used E8000 for the antlers and smaller branches. Then you're going to use tool and stick it at the back. Tool is a fine netted cloth that is used for gowns and dresses. Make sure that the tool is taut while sticking it down. I ended up using two layers. Then go ahead and add any light of your choice. And that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it please give it a like subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video also please follow me on instagram at draw design and decorate and if you do attempt any of this diys please tag me on instagram and i'll see you guys next week bye